Hello and welcome, my name is Andrew and in this video I will demonstrate how to apply submission time restriction to JetForm Builder Forms using the Schedule Form Pro add-on. Before we jump in, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe if you enjoy our content, it helps a lot. I'm assuming you're already familiar with building forms using JetForm Builder and how to download and activate its Pro plugins. If not, you can refer to one of our previous videos on the Crocoblock channel. For this tutorial, I've activated the Schedule Forms add-on and created a simple event registration form. It features a short heading that informs users they can submit the form until a certain date, three text fields for inputting the user's first and last name and email address, along with a checkbox for users to acknowledge agreement with the website's policies. All fields must be completed to submit the form. In the right panel, let's open the Schedule Form tab and click the Enable toggle. Now we can set when the form becomes available for submission either by browsing through the calendar interface or by inputting values into the relevant date and time fields in the From Date section. Next is the To Date section where we can set the deadline for form submission. Finally, there are two text area fields, pending message and expired message. The first one is displayed to users if they access a page containing a form that isn't scheduled to be visible until a specific time. If we leave this field empty, they'll see a default message which is the same as the field's label, pending message. The expired message informs users that the opportunity to view or submit the form has expired. If we leave it blank, the default message they'll see is expired message. The form submission period is currently set to active. Now I will save the form and make two copies of it, so we can establish three different sets of form schedule settings and modify information in the forms heading. For one copied form, we'll set the submission period to past dates, so the form is expired. For the second, the submission date will be available in the future. Let's move to a page where we can insert the forms. I have already prepared a spot for one form, so I will insert the one with the early submission date first. Then I will make some styling modification using the Jet Style Manager plugin such as changing the font color and size, the background of the fields and the design of the action button. For the next two forms, I will duplicate the group block twice, changing the title and background image to match the events. Then within the jet form block, I will select a different event form for each. Now we're ready to save the changes to the page and proceed to the front end. On the event registration page, we are now presented with options to attend three events. The first event has already passed its submission deadline, so instead of a form we see a message stating that the submission period is in the past. The second event features a registration form that is currently valid, allowing me to fill it out and submit it. As for the third event, registration has not yet started because the opening date for registration is set in the future. Instead of a form, there's a relevant message displayed. This is how the Schedule Form add-ons functionality works. For the event registration forms, submitting works for contests or other scenarios where minimizing spam is crucial, it would also be useful to limit the number of form submissions per user, which can be achieved using Limit Form Responses add-on. Hope you found this tutorial useful, if so, please hit like, leave a comment with your thoughts and don't forget to subscribe for more. Thanks for watching, see you next time.